Okay, so this video is to show you how to make a chess board. We've already shown you how to make all the different chess pieces. So the way it starts is how it always starts. So start a sketch. Uh, you're looking for the green and the red. <clears throat> you're starting with a rectangle. We're going to go with center rectangle. We're going to type in um, 320, tab over to 320 and you hit enter. You can back out a little bit. So that is 8 times 40. So each square will be 40 when we're done or slightly underside because we're going to lose some space. We're going to finish the sketch. Uh, you can press house or home. Bring it out 10 millimeters. Will be plenty thick. And then we're going to create a sketch on that face. So we want it to be away from the side. So a quick way that I use is I just draw a one millimeter box in the corner. So we're going to tab over one millimeter <clears throat> and we're going to make that a construction line, I guess. Probably doesn't matter. And then I believe this square is going to be 38. I believe it's 38 millimeters by 38. And when we zoom out, we'll see what we have. Okay, so at this point we're going to we're going to use rectangular pattern. So there's many ways of doing this, but this hopefully is the easiest. I'm going to select all the sides. And um, and then I'm just going to grab and go, I think it should be 280. Thankfully that worked out. Uh, we can increase this to 8, I believe. <clears throat> and then we're going to grab the other. And that's 280 as well. You can sort of see that we can increase this to 8. Ooh, I went to 9. And then we're going to click OK. So that's all of our little pieces. We're going to go home. So there's different ways of doing this, um, but we're finishing the sketch at this point and we're going to extrude it. So I'm going to click on the space between. So I could go and select all of the pieces individually, but that's 64 different pieces. So I'm going to select the background and then I'm going to push it back just two millimeters. So it's giving me negative, we'll go two. So now we've got all of our little pieces and so it's just a matter of coloring it now. <clears throat> so if I hit escape and I go to my bodies, I can do a right click on bodies and I can go into appearances. And it takes a little bit, but this is our little window. And if we wanna change the color to the whole thing we could go and grab some glossy paint, I guess, um, and make it green. And then what we can do, if we want to make, uh, let's say the other part red, we can bring our red up, but we're gonna change from components and bodies to faces. And this is where it gets a little tricky. So we could do every second one, and then we can apply it that way. So you can do more if you want, but I've had some failures <laughs> that make me want to do it this way. You can see that I missed here. You can do it individually as well. And we're just going to basically do the checkerboard pattern. And we're almost done. Okay, so we'll close that. We'll take a look at it. And we'll save it. And we'll make sure it's in the right place. Ooh. 
chessboard. Okay, so that's what we're doing is we're making a chessboard so we can put all our pieces on it. Anyways, good luck with that.